The James Webb Space Telescope is a bloody marvel of modern science. It's the most powerful space telescope ever built, mate. NASA launched it on Christmas Day, 2021. This thing orbits the sun about a million miles from Earth. Webb uses infrared light to see the cosmos, peering through cosmic dust and gas. The telescope has a massive mirror, 21 feet across, almost three times bigger than Hubble's. This huge mirror helps Webb collect more light, seeing fainter and more distant objects. Scientists designed Webb to study the early universe, but it can do heaps more. It can look at planets in our solar system and study distant exoplanets. And now, it's made a cracking discovery in our own cosmic backyard. Webb has found something new in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt is a region of space out past Neptune, chock full of icy bodies left over from when our solar system was formed. Webb's discovery here is massive news, changing how we think about our solar system. It's opening up new questions about how planets are formed. Let's dive into what makes this discovery so exciting. The Kuiper Belt is like a cosmic freezer, a massive region beyond Neptune's orbit, home to countless icy bodies, leftovers from when our solar system was born. Imagine a giant donut-shaped ring around the sun. It stretches 30 to 50 times Earth's distance from the sun, and it's jam-packed with icy bodies. Some are tiny, like cosmic snowballs, while others are massive. Pluto, once the ninth planet, calls this place home. These objects are like time capsules from the early solar system. They haven't changed much since they were formed, revealing the origins of our solar system. The Kuiper Belt is an active place, with objects visiting as comets. These bring water and organic compounds. They might have even brought water to Earth. Studying the Kuiper Belt is dead set important. It holds clues to how life began. The Kuiper Belt is dynamic, full of surprises. Webb's discovery is just the tip of the iceberg. The more we study it, the more we understand our own origins. Another thing NASA wants to do is to understand all the different types of Kuiper Belt objects. We know there are loads of different types out there. Some are reddish in color, others are more gray. Some are big like Pluto, others are small. NASA wants to know why there's so much variety. This could tell us about what it was like in the early solar system. NASA scientist. NASA is also keen to know how the Kuiper belt affects the rest of the solar system. Sometimes, objects from the belt come into the inner solar system as comets. All these questions led NASA to point the James Webb Space Telescope at the Kuiper belt, leading to their amazing discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope has made a groundbreaking discovery in the Kuiper Belt. It's found a new type of object never seen before. This object is unlike anything we've come across in the solar system. It's not your typical icy body, comet, or asteroid. NASA scientist. This new object is massive, about the size of a small moon. But what's really special is what it's made of. Webb's infrared instruments found a strange mix of materials. There's ice, as you'd expect but also a huge amount of complex organic molecules. These are the building blocks of life as we know it. Astronomer. The object's surface is like nothing we've ever seen. It's not all icy like most Kuiper Belt objects. Instead, it's got patches of different materials. Some areas are bright and reflective, probably ice, while others are dark and absorb light, probably full of organic compounds. The object also seems to be changing all the time. Webb spotted what might be plumes of gas erupting from its surface. This discovery is exciting for heaps of reasons. It shows that the Kuiper Belt is more diverse than we thought, suggesting complex chemistry can occur even in the freezing outer reaches of our solar system. The Webb Telescope's discovery in the Kuiper Belt is really shaking up solar system science. It's making scientists rethink their theories. We thought we knew how objects form in the outer solar system, this new find shows we've still got a lot to learn. It's a complete game changer in our understanding. One big question is about where this unusual object came from. How did it form? Our current models can't explain it easily. The mix of ice and complex organics is a real head scratcher. These materials don't usually stick together in space. The object's active surface is also a mystery. How can it be so active in the freezing Kuiper belt? Scientists are working hard to figure it out. This discovery also changes how we think about the Kuiper Belt itself. We used to think it was a quiet, frozen region. 
now we know it can be home to complex active objects. The exploration of the Kuiper Belt has been a long journey. It all started with a prediction. In 1951, astronomer Gerard Kuiper reckoned there might be a belt of icy bodies beyond Neptune. But it took ages to prove this idea. The first Kuiper Belt object wasn't discovered until 1992. That's when astronomers David Jewett and Jane Liu found a small, icy world they called 1992 QB1. After that first discovery, they started finding them everywhere. Astronomers found more and more Kuiper Belt objects. They realized this region was packed with icy bodies. In 2005, Mike Brown and his team discovered Eris. It's a dwarf planet even bigger than Pluto. This find meant Pluto had to be reclassified as a dwarf planet too. It changed how we see our solar system. NASA has sent spacecraft to have a closer look at the Kuiper Belt. The New Horizons mission flew past Pluto in 2015. It gave us our first good look at this distant world. New Horizons then went on to visit another Kuiper Belt object, Arakoth, in 2019. These missions taught us heaps, but most of what we know about the Kuiper Belt comes from telescopes here on Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope's discovery in the Kuiper Belt wasn't just a fluke. It was all thanks to Webb's amazing technology. This telescope is a marvel of modern science and engineering. It's designed to see things that were impossible to detect before. Webb's massive mirror, 21 feet across, collects a huge amount of light. Webb also uses special infrared cameras and spectrographs. These instruments detect heat and can see through cosmic dust. Its giant sunshield keeps it super cold, which is really important for faint infrared signals. Webb's advanced technology is making the impossible possible. Webb's Kuiper Belt discovery is changing how we think about how planets are formed. The unusual object it found doesn't fit our current models. This means we might need to rethink how planets and other bodies form in solar systems. Astronomer, one big question is about the mix of materials in the object. How did ice and complex organics end up together? In our current models, these materials usually separate. The ice stays in the outer solar system, while the organics often move inwards. But this object suggests they can mix and stay together. The object's active surface is also a puzzle. We thought bodies in the outer solar system were mostly inactive. They're too far from the sun to get enough heat for geologic activity. But this object is changing and even erupting. This suggests there might be heat sources we don't understand in the outer solar system, science journalist. These findings also change how we think about habitable worlds. If complex organics can exist so far from the sun, maybe life could too. Webb's discovery has opened up new doors for Kuiper Belt research. Scientists are keen to learn more. They want to know if this unusual object is one of a kind or if there are others like it. NASA scientist. One thing we'll focus on is studying this object in more detail. Scientists will use Webb and other telescopes to learn more about what it's made of and how it behaves. They'll watch it over time to see how it changes. Public enthusiast. Researchers will also be looking for similar objects in the Kuiper Belt. If they find more, it could completely change our understanding of this region. This discovery will probably influence future space missions too. NASA and other space agencies might plan new missions to the Kuiper Belt. These could be flybys like New Horizons, or even orbiters. The goal would be to study these objects up close. The find also shows how important it is to build more powerful telescopes. Webb has shown us how much is still out there to discover. Future telescopes might be even bigger or use new technologies. The future of Kuiper Belt research is looking bright. The James Webb Space Telescope's discovery in the Kuiper Belt does more than just advance science. It changes how we see our place in the universe. It reminds us how much we still don't know about our solar system. Just when we think we've got a handle on our cosmic neighborhood, we find something new. It's a humbling and exciting experience. This discovery shows us why exploration is so important. We can't just assume we know everything. There are always new frontiers to explore, even right here in our solar system. Public enthusiast, the Kuiper Belt, which we used to think was a quiet, frozen place, is full of surprises. It reminds us that the universe is more complex and diverse than we can imagine. European Space Agency representative,
The find also shows the importance of working together in science. The Webb Telescope is the result of hard work by thousands of people from all over the world. Its discoveries benefit everyone. Each discovery, like this one, raises new questions and possibilities. It reminds us why we explore space, to learn, to grow, and to understand our place in the cosmos.